Welcome to Mastering Solutions. They give us a velocity versus time graph here in this question, and they want us to take that and turn it into an acceleration versus time graph. When we look at the graph, we can see there's two distinct sections here sections here where there's this first section where there's a constant velocity from zero to two seconds and then two to four has a, another consistent velocity right there so let's figure out what the the accelerations are for these two and to do that we find the acceleration by getting the slope of a velocity versus time graph so if you recall from a position versus time graph to get the velocity, we get the slope. For the velocity versus time graph to get the acceleration, we get the slope. So for acceleration, it's going to be the change in the velocity over the change in time. And if you notice, the formula for the slope is equal to the change in the rise over the change in the run. Now, what is the rise for a velocity versus time graph? Well, it's the velocity. So here's change in the velocity on the top, change in the rise on the top. What is the change in the run here? Time, time's on the bottom, run's on the bottom. So you can see that is why we can get the acceleration from the slope of a velocity versus time graph. So now for section zero to two, the acceleration is equal to the change in the rise, which is from four down to two meters per second. So four to two, the two is the final meters per second minus four, which is the initial meters per second. So we have negative two on the top divided by the change in the time, which is two seconds. So the acceleration is negative two meters per second divided by two seconds, which gives us negative one meters per second squared. Now for the sec second section, time two to four, two to four, the slope is a flat line, meaning there is no slope. So the acceleration for this section is zero, meaning the velocity stays constant at two meters per second, so it's not changing the velocity at all, so the acceleration is zero squared. All right, so here is our acceleration versus time graph right here, and we'll have two seconds and four seconds. And then we have negative one. So on the y-axis here, we have the acceleration, which is meters per second squared. And then on the x-axis, obviously, is the time. So now for time zero to two, we just found that the acceleration was a negative one meters per second. And then at two seconds, we drop down to zero meters per second squared for the acceleration there. So zero to two, negative one meters per second squared, two to four, zero. So here is our acceleration versus time graph for this velocity versus time graph.